Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in this Discord Dot tutorial series. In this episode, we will implement a few things. So the first thing we would like to implement is to create simple commands. So for example, when someone does this, so it sends this message to the chat by seeing that they included this prefix, we will know it is a command. Now a prefix can be whatever you want. So a prefix can be, for example, dot mic and then dot and then the command. Again, you can put whatever you like for the prefix and the prefix is the identifier before the, the name of the command. So whatever is before the actual command name, this is the prefix or the identifier. So we actually know this is a command and then this is a command for our bot exclusively. Now, if multiple bots use the same prefix, then you might want to think of an exclusive one that most likely other bots don't use. So in our case, we can use so dot mic dot and then the command name so help is really exclusive. Like there is limited amount of bots that use this prefix. Next, what we will do is create admin commands. So in the same video, we will see how we can create commands that only the admin can access. For example, we can create a command. So let's say stats and this command shows us the stats of our server. Now, this is an example. We will not make this functionality in this video. I will make another video of using this functionality. In this video, we will just print a message. So if he is actually the admin and he's trying to run that command, we will say successful. Otherwise, we will say access denied or something like that. But instead of sending a message, then you can actually make the command work. For example, you can create a command that bans users. So you can say ban and then the username. Now in a future episode, most likely the next one, I'll show you how you can ban and kick members and, and also how you can get stats of the server, like the member count, the bot count and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's see how we can create simple commands. So what we can do first of all is create the prefix. So the prefix will be dot mic dot. But again, this can be whatever you want. So you can just use the exclamation mark or the dot and it will still work. But just to make it more exclusive, we will do it like that. Then we want to see if our message dot content starts with. So message on content is basically the message a user sends and then starts with is what we are doing here is we are checking if that message starts with this string and then we are using that value in its place. OK, so if it is, then it is a command. But for now, just to test it, we can say this is a command. So if it is a command, we will send a message. This is a command. Otherwise, we will do nothing. So yeah, let's test it. So if you are using Visual Studio Code and you have downloaded the extension right here, Python, which is this one most likely, then you can click this button right here and it will allow you to run this Python script. Otherwise, you can run Python space main.py and it will run this code. So as you see, the bot says logged on as Michael the bot. Now we have already used the documentation example on our previous episode. So if you haven't already watched it, you can click up here. You can go ahead and watch it and then come back. I will also list the playlist down in the description so you can click that. And if I already have uploaded the next videos, then you can see all of them in order. OK, so let's go on our Discord. Let's go on our test server and then let's run test. And as you see, we get no response, which is good. But when we run dot mic dot and let's say help, this is a command. So that's good because it knows this is a command. So how do we check which command it is? So what we can do is let's do that and let's say command equals to and then what we can do is we can remove the prefix from our message like so and by removing this dot mic dot whatever is left so help in our case 
is the command name. So what we can do now is send the command name to the chart. So we are saying the command is and then the command name. And if you don't already know, by typing F in front of our string and then placing the brackets at the end of a value, of a value name, this allows you to put Python values inside the string. So this can be dynamic. So let's run python main.py. Now this is how you run in your terminal and make sure your terminal is opened on your folder. So Michael the bot in my case. By the way, the code will be down in the description so you can check it out and it will have the updated script. So whatever we have done until the end of the video will be uploaded to GitHub. So there it is, our bot is running. We can close the previous one and let's go in discord let's run the same command so help and it says the command is help let's try something else so dot mark dot and stats the command is stats so that's great now let's see how we can check which command it is and what we can do is say if the command is help do that if the command is stats do that etc etc so normally what would you do is use if statements and you'll say, for example, if command equals equals and then, for example, help, then do that. So we can say this is a test and then you can do a leaf if the command is that, do that and etc, etc. But if you are using 3.10 version of Python or newer, there is a new command which is similar to switch command with JavaScript. And let me show you how that works. So we can create a function and we can say find command. We can give it the command as a parameter. And then what we can do is say match and we can say match command. And then we, we can check what the command is and we can create cases. So in case the command is equal to ping, then we can return something else in case the command is help then we can return something else now you can use either ways but just to make it simple i'll use if statements but you can use this one as well and here for example you can pass functions or you can pass commands whatever you like but make sure you have this inside of here otherwise you will not be able to use values like message unless you pass them as parameters. So yeah, let me delete that and let's continue with a simple method. So let's do if the command is equal to help, then we will send a few information about our commands or any useful information. So whatever we want to send the user to help them out on how to use our bot. So, in our, so for example, you can send the commands, but again, you can send whatever you like. In our case, we are saying help, this is, and we can say this is the help command, or we can explain like briefly what this does. So we can say it returns the server stats and you can add as many as you like. So yeah, let's test it out. Again, in case of the command not being help, we are basically doing nothing because in our case, we don't want to interfere with normal messages or with commands that doesn't exist. But if a command doesn't exist and the user still uses the prefix, what we can do is we can say else. So if the command doesn't equal help or doesn't equal any of the other commands we put in between, then what we can say is await message.channel.send and we can say this command doesn't exist. Let's run our script. So let's go on Discord. Let's do dot mic dot and then help. And then commands and then it says help. So this is the help command and starts. It returns the server starts. But if we do a command that doesn't exist, so we can say, for example, wrong, this command doesn't exist. So there we go. So this is how we can create commands and make our commands do certain stuff. Again, you can do whatever you want with each command. And during this tutorial series, I'll give you some ideas. So I'll show you how you can create this stats command, how you can ban kick members and all that kind of stuff. 
what if we want to create admin commands? So let me give you some cases of what admin commands is. So we want to create an admin command that either just a certain user can access. So for example, the owner of the server or a command that a user can access by their role. So if they have the role, for example, the admin role or the moderator role, which you can create, then and only then they can access that command. And we can check if the user that is sending this message has that certain role. So let's see how I can do that. So let's create our role. So let's go here, go to server settings. Let's go on the roles tab and create a new role. Now you can specify permissions and access to that role, but I'll keep it simple and just name it role name admin and then give it a color and save changes. Then I would like to give that role to me. So let's do that. And let's go back and print the contents of the message. So let's say print and then message and see what information we get. Great. So let's go back. Let's send any kind of message. And as you can see, we can get some information about the user that sent that message. So here we get the name. So Michael Kiras and the discriminator. So in my account, this is the hashtag 4423. So for 423 right here without the hashtag. So what we can do is check if the name plus hashtag plus discriminator is equal to a certain user. So let's see how we can do that. So let's say we create an admin command. Then we can say if commands equal stats. So first of all, let's create an admin value and we can say admin equals to. And then let's type the admin username here. So Michael Kiras hashtag 4423 message and then username equals to and we can combine message the author the name plus hashtag plus message the author the discriminator and then we can run another simple command so if message underscore username equals admin then we can say await message dot channel dot send and for now let's do you are an admin but if he is not an admin, then we will do else. And then you are not an admin or you don't have access to this command. Go back on Discord and then do dot my dot stats. You are an admin. So it works. Now let's say we change the admin to some other user. So let's say he has a different discriminator. Now this user doesn't exist, but it doesn't have to exist. So we can check it. So let's go back now and type the same command. And as you see now, since the username is not the same, it says you are not an admin. So it does work. But this is a really bad example because what if you want to add the moderator easily without having to rerun the script or without having to create an array of usernames and checking if the message underscore username is, equals, is equal to any of that admins. This is a really bad practice. So what would you like to do instead is check if a user has a certain role and maybe only the owner can access or can give that role to certain members. So by doing that, then you can be assured that only the people you want, they will have the admin role. So yeah, let's see how I can do that. So what I would like to do is print message.author.roles. So basically get the roles from our author, which our author is the user that sent this message. So if we go back on our console, as you see, after I type the message, we get an array and we get the roles our user has. So first row is at everyone. So everyone has this role. And then we have the role called admin. So now what we can do is check if a certain role is included in our user and we can do something like that. So for each object in our roles, we can say if the object dot name equals to admin, then he is an admin. And let's replace D with role just to make it understandable. And there we go. And then if he's an admin and if the command is to hello, then let's say hello admin. So let's run our script again. So dot mic dot hello 
and there we go so it says hello admin and then it says this command doesn't exist which is wrong so so what we can do is let's remove it for now we don't want to do anything okay so i found a small issue with our code so what we are doing here is we are checking if he's an admin but actually if we print is admin the value we want to check is inside an array now to fix that we just have to do this so get the first item from our array and this will fix our issue so there we go so this is how you can create admin commands and to make this better what you can do is we can remove that and we can say if command equals to hello and is admin then do the rest and you can keep the else command right here so there we go so this is how we can check if the user is an admin and create the admin commands and then also create simple commands so in the next episode i'll show you how you can create restricted channels so channels that only there you can type bot messages and your bot will work only on those channels and in the other channels it will ignore your bot messages so yeah if you are interested in that and you enjoyed this video hit the like button as it helps the youtube algorithm a lot and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next episodes